What were you doing, mommy? What were you doing? People were on OnlyFans making money showing their toes. You got pretty toes, mommy. You could have made some money and took me to college. What were you doing? What are you gonna tell your child? All right, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to start a wedding film business, okay? How do you start a wedding film business? So that's for this video. So I'll give you five tips on how to start a wedding film business. Let's go. So this is for people who are trying to start and are not in the business yet. So if you're already a wedding videographer, then you could probably um, not watch this video. But I don't know, there might be some tips that you might want to uh, consider trying. But this is mainly for people who maybe are shooting other kind of um, things like maybe music videos or real estate videos or whatever stuff they're filming. And they want to get into weddings. So I'm trying to give them a reason why they need to start, right? So tip number one is just start it, you know. The fact that you're even considering um, looking into getting started with weddings, it means like, you know, just start, you know, it's going to be a good way to get extra income on top of whatever you're doing. That's if you don't want to go full time. But, you know, you can't just go full time. You have to get clients. You have to do all these things before you go full time. But, you know, as you start, you know, it's a good way to start making some money. So you you need to have a reason for you to start. OK. You need a reason to start. And uh, the reason should be, okay, I need to make more money. I need to support my family. I need to, maybe I just love filming and it's a hobby. So I need to get started. So you need a reason, but you just need to start, guys. Everything is just starting. You know, just like this YouTube channel. When I first started, I um, I didn't have any subscribers. And then I got seven subscribers. And, I, and then I felt so happy. I screenshot the seven subscribers and send it to my wife, send it to my brother. I'm like, oh, look, I got seven subscribers, bro. And uh, stop procrastinating and take action today. Stop procrastinating and take action today, right now. Damn, I'm yelling at you like I'm your father, right? All right, so just start, You like, you know, give yourself a reason, not give yourself. If you have a reason to start something, you're going to start it, no matter what somebody says. If you have a reason, a big enough reason why you need to start doing something, you know, you're going to start it. If you have a reason why you need to make more money and this is part of something you can do, you're going to do it. And uh, the hardest thing that um, the hardest thing to start is if it's just a hobby, if it's just for fun, but if it's something that you really need and you need to make money, you're going to start. So I don't, you don't even, you don't even need to get pushed by anybody to start. Number two is equipments, guys. Of course you need equipments and I recommend having at least two cameras when you start. Okay. Two cameras. So just in case one of the cameras, um, kind of the battery dies off, the other one can keep filming. Okay, so you need at least two cameras to start. You can start with one. When I first started my first wedding, I had one camera and that went bad real quick. My battery died. Um, I didn't watch. Well, I could have watched videos on YouTube, but there was not so much content like the like what I create right now. I'm going to put stuff on this channel that people that... um talk about filming I'm not going to put, you know, so I'll put stuff like, oh, how to film um, the bride getting ready and how to go in. Like I go in detail. When you look at my channel and the topics I talk about with um, wedding knowledge, I go in detail how to film the cake, how to like just detailed stuff. OK, so channels like this never existed when I started filming weddings. OK, and when I first shot. When I first shot my first wedding, I um, didn't have any knowledge in, um, you know, the the business. And I didn't think I was going to do this a long time. I thought it was just going to be like, okay, you know, I'm trying to make some money. I film music videos right now, but this person asked me to film the wedding for $225 it was or something like that. I'll take it. You know, that's money that I, I don't have right now. I need this money. I got bills to pay, you know, stuff like that. So. I took the wedding so but yeah so this is about equipment you need equipment you need some type of equipment 
you don't need the best camera right now today you just need some camera any camera that you're gonna get this year is gonna be way better than a camera five years ago ten years ago well it depends on the okay the professional cameras are still good from five years ago but I'm talking about you know like the the cheaper cameras but any camera you get today like any kind of sony full frame or just whatever anything is good i mean you don't even have to go full frame you know what i mean any camera is good but just at least i recommend having two cameras but get your equipments so equipments cameras tripods and that's all you need guys a camera and a tripod and um maybe a light but when you get when you're first getting started i just need you to start okay just start, okay? You don't need lights and all this fancy stuff and gimbals and trimbos and drones and thrones. You don't need that, okay? You just need the basic stuff, a camera, a tripod, a memory card, a battery. Let's go. Where's the wedding at? Where's that? Over there? Let's go. Okay, so uh, number three is um, create a website, okay? So... Well, you don't need to, but I recommend that you do because when I first started, I didn't have a website because I was on Craigslist and I didn't have a website for my music filming business and I wasn't even filming music. I wanted to start, but I didn't have a website. <coughs> Let me slow down. So you need a website, guys. So what I mean is at least you need a place where people can go and see your work okay where someone can go and they can you know see your work so you need a website so that way you can they can also see that okay this person is legit websites are cheap nowadays guys domains are cheap nowadays it's like what like GoDaddy, like 17 dollars for a whole year to start it's like a no-brainer you just get your name.com or whatever photography.com or videography or films whatever.com numnutsfilms.com put all your work on there if you don't have work yet what i did i didn't have any wedding films when i first started so what i did was i went on youtube and i watched wedding films i'm like oh so this is how you shoot a wedding this is easy okay because i do music videos and i do a lot of chopping in the videos so these um weddings seem so you know sado and easy to film so that's how come i got into weddings so if you don't have work yet of your own you can just tell the bride and groom your clients like hey guys look i can do something like this so you show them wedding films on youtube okay show them something that you know you can manage to film okay because some people are very creative and they can do things but they don't have the work yet they're just getting started like i was i was creative in like filming and i had an eye but you know i didn't have any weddings under my belt to show people like oh this is my work so what you need to do is you need to um go on youtube and then uh you need to show the bride uh work kind of like what you would do just show them other people's work and be like hey i'm uh, i'm just starting out but this is the kind of stuff that i do and i can do for you okay and that's why my price reflects that i'm just starting out so um let me know what you want to do but this is the kind of stuff that i that i would do for you okay and of course it reflects with my price okay if i already had done weddings i would of course charge more but you know they'll understand because you're going to be charging them um an affordable price because when you first start of course don't make your prices out the roof you know what i mean just calm down with your pricing you're gonna get there but calm down get some weddings under your belt and then you're gonna have um um some work to show your future clients so the clients that you are getting when you first start just go on youtube and tell them this is the kind of weddings i could do for you this is the kind of work i could do for you for the highlight videos for the trailers and for the full video of course i can edit the whole thing just you know talk to them they'll understand because they are going cheap anyways right okay so tip number four is social media guys so if you're first getting started you want to get weddings just go on social media post that on your facebook page you know and just be like hey um uh post it to your friends hey guys i'm filming weddings anybody knows anybody who wants to a wedding filmed um i would do it for cheap because i'm just getting started and um you know guys whatever just put something on social media okay i'm not going to tell you what to write but just you know you're going to know just put something if you need me to tell you what to write then you are not serious enough okay 
and um, you probably can't afford me to. I'm just kidding. But yeah, just put it on social media, guys. Instagram, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever. Put it on everything. And, you know, next year, there's probably going to be a, a whole new social media, maybe called what? Numb nuts, where you just short. <laughs> You spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on Facebook and probably even more hours than I just said. And you're going to tell me you can just use those hours to post something that's going to benefit you and your future and your kids. And come on, guys, come on. You know, use social media to your advantage. People are making millions on social media. What are you going to do when your kid tells you 10 years from now or 17 years from now when your kid is 17? And let's say your kid is one right now. When your kid is 17 and your kid has to get financial aid because you didn't secure a future for your child. What are you going to tell them? Oh, when people are making money right now on social media, what are you going to tell them when your kid is like, oh, uh, when your kid asks you, daddy, mommy, what were you doing 17 years ago when people were making money on this thing called Facebook and TikTok? And numb nuts and uh, Insta trash. What were you doing, mommy? What were you doing? People were on OnlyFans making money showing their toes. You got pretty toes, mommy. You could have made some money and took me to college. What were you doing? What are you going to tell your child? You know what I mean? Like, do something. Use social media to your advantage, man. Stop playing out here. Tip number five is... Invest in your business, guys. Invest in your business. So um, it takes money to make money. Scare money don't make no money. And if you uh, every wedding you do, buy some equipment, buy a gimbal, buy a drone, just with every wedding. So that's what I would recommend you. But yeah, so number five is invest in your business. Um, unfortunately, guys, this is the time I have for you today. I gotta go. Actually, let me just let me just go a little bit further with number five, okay? Because I feel like I'm cheating you for like I don't know. I feel like I owe you more, like rather than just telling you invest in your business. I feel like I owe you more, like you paying me right now to like tell you this information. Okay, so let me see. So you need to invest in your business, guys. You know what I mean? Like um, all these companies, McDonald's, um, a uh, Apple. They all invest in their business, guys. You know, you got to put money in your business. You know, all the little money that you use at McDonald's, at freaking, you know, you go out to restaurants, especially in America. People spend money on dumb things, man. People spend money on bullshit every week. They get a paycheck. They go and do dumb shit with it. You know, instead of investing, saving money and then investing in their equipment or investing in their business. So don't be like those people, man, because, you know, going out to clubs and doing all that stuff, it's always going to be there when you get money. But right now, while everybody else is playing around and, you know, going out to restaurants every freaking weekend, like they got it like that, you need to take that money, save it and, you know, invest it into your business. So um, that's what I would kind of advise you guys and I'll urge you guys to do. Just um, put your head down and just grind, guys. Just grind. Just give it two years, um, a year, two years, just grinding and going for your business. You're going to be way further than all these people right now that are just doing things to impress their neighbors. Some people, you know, they're in their 30s and they don't even have a house. They don't even own their own house. They don't have a mortgage. You know what I mean? And some of you guys do. And you already far ahead from these dudes. Um, so what I'll just tell you is just like grind, just put money into your business and go for it. You know what I mean? Invest in your business. And, um, that's what I'll tell you guys. And I don't, I didn't want this to kind of get into like too serious and like, oh, like, you know, I'm preaching right now. I feel like, but, um, I'll just tell you, um, just be smart and invest in your business. So that's my time today because I felt like I owed you more there. So that's that, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like this video. I don't care if you subscribe. I just hope you like the video just to, you know, get some more thumbs up on the videos like this so I can know you kind of like videos like this. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you and see you guys in the next video. Hey, where you at? Huh? What? Getting up coffee.
All right. Okay. So can you just be? Can you get in the house at like ten fifteen? Anyway, fifteen minutes. Well, I'll be done. Yeah. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Thank you. Damn, Daniel, what you gotta do for the YouTube videos, bruh? Bruh.